today's site is a gruesome one. It takes us back to a time when these shores were first settled by the British. 11 ships arrived in this harbour. There was like over a thousand people. There was convicts, marines, sailors, and one man in charge of it all, Governor Philip. Just a month after they arrived, a group of four men broke into the government stores and stole pork and butter. They were tried and all four were condemned to hang. The spot for the hanging was chosen, just up this hill. The men's tents were on one side, the women's tents on another, and in between was this big gum tree. Two of the men were pardoned earlier in that day, so that just left two to be hanged. But the fledgling colony had a problem. They didn't have a hangman, a job that requires skill. So the governor made an interesting proposal, and that was one man would be pardoned if he became the hangman. So that just left one man to be hanged. His name was Thomas Barrett. And he had been here three times before. Once he had been sentenced to death for stealing a watch in London. The second time he was on a ship on the way to America and led a mutiny, again sentenced to death and pardoned. And now this was the third time. He fully expected with the antics of the day that he too would be pardoned. But he was led up the ladder. He went white with fright when he realized this was actually going to happen. And today, there is a plaque that marks this as the spot where Thomas Barrett, the first man to be hung in Sydney, met his end. Many more hangings would follow. And this became known as Gallows Hill. Now, the funny thing is, I used to walk up this hill all the time on my way to yoga and I never saw that plaque and I never knew I was treading on Gallows Hill. Thankfully, Thomas Barrett can also be remembered for something more positive as he created the first bit of convict art in Australia. He created what's now known as the Charlotte's Medal and it's in the collection of the Australian Maritime Museum. The Charlotte's Medal was made for the ship's surgeon and it was taken from silver from one of his surgical trays and he drew the ship Charlotte for the surgeon to remember the journey to Australia. <laughs>